Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Got a couple hidden stars to do today, a couple prankster comments. How does that sound, everybody? Does it sound good? It should, because it's gonna be amazing. Got a little bit of a proposition for everybody today. When I made this channel, I made social media accounts to go along with it, but I haven't really had too much of a usage for those yet, but I would like to do that. I'd like to find a way to incorporate that more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and follow the Twitter and Instagram accounts. Those are going to become more robust as time goes on. Hello, Ghost Luigi. Goodbye, Ghost Luigi. Let's go ahead and take a risk. Following those accounts is good for your health. We'll go into this pipe. This pipe. I'm going to do some bowling, but first let me talk more about that. So Instagram and Twitter slash dmike plays very easy to find they are in the description for links if you'd like to click those and they're also at the end of every video along with a twitch account that i will be streaming on for too long oops okay that was not on not on purpose but you following those accounts should be on purpose it's good for you helps me to stay in touch there's going to be all kinds of cool interactions that i'll do with you in the not too distant future Hoping to do polls and fan interaction. Send me your memes, especially cat memes. I love those. And uh, we'll have a good time. So let's have another good time by doing some chimp bowling. Here we go. So we have to get some points here, like we do in every chimp game. 5,000 points or more gets you a star. Here we go. So I'm not very good at bowling in real life or... Uh, Super Mario Galaxy life. It's actually kind of... <laughs> the perspective on this kind of sucks. Alright. So we're going to do our best here. we got to get 5,000. That will net us a... Uh, a star. Looks like we're doing pretty well so far. For the star. So we should probably lead this one a little bit. Oh yeah, we are rocking and rolling. Do this one a little... Turn a table. Here we go. I think we've gotten everything so far. Ooh. I remember when I was a kid, I had the game Crazy Taxi for the Dreamcast. And one of the things in that game was a uh, was a bowling mini game with the cars, and I was always really bad at that. Makes me think of Wii Bowling for the for the Wii itself. Remember Wii Sports? I do, and so do all old people on Earth, because they love it. Oh boy. Okay, that looks like a winner. 5,300 points, bada boom, first try. Give me that star, boyo. And we're his greatest rival, it's amazing, what an honor. We'll take that. And we will jump into our star after a hard game of bowling. I don't know if it's just me, probably because I'm a weakling, but every time that I go bowling, whenever I'm done, I always feel like it destroys my wrist and my thumbs. That's what you get for playing with your balls for a while. It just makes you tired. Okay. Champs Bowling Challenge complete. Very cool. We have 19 more stars to get. We're going to do another fun one. You guys are going to love this at my expense. You'll never guess what type of star this is. I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three. Okay, it's purple coins. It's going to be an adventure of purple coins. Another adventure is liking this video, commenting on it, and subscribing. I really enjoy the comments that people do. It makes me laugh. And I will almost certainly reply to you, so don't hold back. The game is not holding back. And not only is this purple coins, but it's timed. So you got to get your your booty in motion. you gotta, you got to just get yourself going. Five minutes is pretty reasonable, though. This isn't too difficult, and it's relatively straightforward. You don't have to hunt for any of the coins. They're all just kind of one right after another. And as you'll see in a few moments, the game is actually pretty reasonable in letting you know if you're on, on the right track. So you've got that going for you. It's very, very helpful. So of the purple coins, I almost said red, of the purple coin missions, this one is not too bad. Not too bad. You know what else is not too bad? 
the fact that we are almost at the end of this game. Actually, that is kind of bad. It makes me sad. I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully, you're all having a lot of fun. It would behoove you to uh, follow those social media accounts and uh, help me to have more fun with you. That's kind of the main reason for all of it. I'm just trying to find ways to communicate with the viewers of DMike Industries. I don't have a goofy name for the people who follow this channel yet. How do people feel about that? Do we like that? Do we want to have a name? You could use the social media accounts to tell me what you think. Whether you want to be named something goofy or if you just want to be yourself. Up to you guys. I'm all ears. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oof. Saved it. I know that's kind of a popular thing that some channels have like uh like some sort of a, a name or like a tagline for what they call people. I have not thought of that yet. I'm open to suggestions or I am open to people thinking that that idea sucks. So you tell me what you're thinking, viewers. I'm all ears. Because I'm not. I got arms and legs and a face. Unfortunately. Okay, here we go. So we got three minutes left to gather the rest. Now, I did mention that this level does a good job of letting you know how far along you've come, which is great. And it will tell you exactly how many star or how many coins you've collected. And if you're on the right track, so you should have 73 by this point. If you don't, well, then you done goofed. But 73 is how many that Whitland wants you to have coming into the final structure here. Pretty handy. I'm ignoring all of these star bits. Hello, pointer. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. I have no idea. There it is. There's my pointer, my handy dandy pointer. So yeah, the game is very kind and at least giving you a heads up on your progress. Which in previous Mario Galaxies, you know, Mario Galaxy just, the only other one, you had to figure that out for yourself. You had to pull yourself up by your purple coin bootstraps and do the work. But in Mario Galaxy 2, you can get your hand held a little bit. Boom. That, my friends, is star number two. Oops. Okay. All right. So we will definitely destroy any sort of tension and ruin the moment by not being on the right side of star collection. There we go. Not too bad, right? Pretty good. But yeah. It'll be a lot of fun interacting with everybody. I intend to have all kinds of ways for you guys to participate in the channel. And it'll give me a good pulse on where we should go. Classic nine star bits, really killing it on the star bit market. Okay. Let's go ahead and skip past the throwback galaxy. We'll come back to that. We have another hidden star. The Battle Belt Galaxy. Back here one last time. There's going to be a little bit of a reunion. We're going to go meet a friend. Although this encounter might be a little spicy. Oops, I shouldn't have grabbed that because we're going to use Luigi and have to grab it again. So what better way to do this already tense mission than to have Luigi do it, which makes it so much easier. Why not? Oops, okay. We could, okay, great. So this one will be tons of fun. You'll love it, I promise. If you don't, well, that's too bad because we're doing it no matter what. Okay, that's not good. So if you got remember these little uh, spicy Hershey kisses, these are from Mario Galaxy 1. We've run into them a little bit. We've obviously spent two stars in this galaxy already, so this is not something new. But these guys were from Galaxy 1. If you remember the missions where we had to uh, do the volcano purple coins. Those ones were trouble. And uh, those Hershey Kiss guys were the ones that made it pretty tr tricky. So here's what you're going to want to do. You've got these three sea urchin dudes that are just coming in hot. You're going to want to make sure that you nuke all of them as part of the mission. Grab yourself at least... 30 star bits, just trust me. And maybe 20 coins while you're at it. That's a good recipe for success. You can use your fire flower power up 
as a way to speed up this process. You know, speed running strats. So, 30 star bits, 20 coins. Just keep that in mind. Perhaps we will be helping out a hungry friend who's desperate for finances. Okay, here we go. I really do like this little planet toy that's shaped like a pumpkin. It was even in a thumbnail once, so clearly you know I love it. But uh, yeah, Halloween is my favorite holiday. I haven't spent as much time participating in Halloween specific activities, but I like the idea of Halloween. It's my favorite time of year. Fall is wonderful. What's your favorite time of year, viewers? This could be a question that I could potentially ask you on the Twitters. How does that sound? Think about that. I could ask you about seasons. That's quality content and interaction with viewers. So we're gonna swim all the way to the, to the bottom of this jack-o'-lantern. I'm not entirely sure the significance of this. It kind of feels a little out of place, but that's okay because we do have our 20th coin in the bag or in the shell, I should say. Okay, you could go ahead and die again. Thank you. There we go. This is a good place to gather up those coins like I mentioned before. You can get all 20 prior to this moment. You can see in the distance, there is a Luma shop. And for one of the very few times in this Let's Play, I'm going to buy one. Life Shroom it is. You'll have to trust me on this one. You don't need to do this. This is a part that's pretty optional. The 20 coins are not. However, this part is for my health and potentially for yours if you don't want to watch a video that's 45 minutes of the same thing over and over again. Here we go. Coin Luma. A few more coins over here if you missed out on the 20 that you need total. So here we go. We'll stuff his fat face. And open up the opportunity to meet an old friend. Let's go ahead and get over there as soon as we can. And who do you think it is, viewers? Well, welcome back. It's Gobblegut. Gobblegut's very fiery french fry headed brother. Don't you remember this? He looks a little heated. Hmm. I guess that's what's going to happen when you get destroyed by the Mario Brothers two times in a row. But we've got an opportunity to make it three for three. So this Gobblegut fight's obviously a little different. As you can see, Gobblegut, he's in a fiery rage. Oops, okay. So this Gobblegut fight, as I missed every single one of these, right? It's the same idea, right? You're going to be popping the pimples to get from phase one to phase two. You gotta do at least three in each phase. And Gobblegut is made. Don't forget to grab your star bits, okay. I would like to get another coin so I don't lose my power up, sweet. So there are little pits of hot lava. I believe that's what that is. Gobblegut themselves is covered in fire. Oops. That was actually kind of nice to use my oops. Okay. There we go. It's another one. Oof. Yeah, this this boss fight is tough. There's a whole there's a whole lot going on right now. Oh man, come on. And I'm starting to lose count on which one I which ones I've done I haven't done yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got two more to get. Oh boy, this is not good. This is pure chaos. Oh no. Give me the coin, give me the coin. Okay, oof. Yeah, this is, ooh, this is insane. Come on, Gobblegut. Why don't you go on to the part of the plant that I haven't traversed? There we go. All right, so I think I missed the first one. I believe we got one more. And that should do it. That is another murder. Bye bye. And that's a star. Okay. Whew. I'm getting a little steamed having to do that one. That one's not too tough, but it's not the easiest either. 
that's three stars, and we're gonna cool down. We're gonna finish off this episode with a nice, relaxing finale at the Throwback Galaxy. Thanks, Luigi, for your help. You were such a bro, a bruh, as the kids say these days. Okay, very nice. And so we'll say goodbye to Luigi for the first time. And jump back into the galaxy. Wow, I could not talk. Alright, so there's something crazy going on over here. 70 stars for a mission. Do we remember what other game took 70 stars? It's the game where this galaxy is referring to. But we have way more than that because we are epic. Thank you everybody for being epic with me. And we're gonna do the Womp Silver Star speedrun. Now, this mission in particular really confused me. You might be thinking, why? This one wasn't too difficult. Was it the difficulty that confused you, D Mike? No. It was the fact that it exists in the first place. So this one is the same as before. No changes in the actual mission itself. You're going to be asked to do the same thing. We're collecting silver stars. However, this time around, you gotta do it in two minutes or less. Or your money back. Now, the reason why this confused me is because in doing this mission, I realized that I've already done this before, and I thought to myself, well, have I done this before? Got a little bit of deja vu. I was going through my content when I was putting it all together for all of you wonderful people. And I wasn't convinced that I had already accomplished it. I was going back and checking an old recording, and I thought I hadn't done it yet, so it made my brain very confused. Well, that's not tough to do. But it's fine. We're fine. We're doing great. I don't know if I can make it from here. Oh, maybe, I can. maybe I can. Oh, that was an epic move. Pro maneuver. Okay. But yeah, so that was very confusing for my small, insufficient brain. But we're doing the speedrun version this time, not not the vanilla version. Which Mario's head kind of looks like a vanilla ice cream cone, if I would say so myself. What do you have to say to me, Bob Bomb? One last time, huh? Okay, checks out. That's kind of how I feel about a lot of things in life. I'm like, you know what? Huh? It's pretty accurate. So here we go. The final star of the final mission of the throwback galaxy. Didn't need to do that. Okay. Actually, kind of made it a little bit more difficult on myself. But that is it. Let's go ahead and do an aggressive butt stomp to the star. Oops, I missed. Actually, you know what? That's probably pretty good because I can get these extra star bits. And boom, done. That's four stars in under 20 minutes. You're welcome. Okay. That was a pretty successful day, if I do say so myself. And that, my friends, is every possible star I believe we can do up to this point. So there's that 70 star plateau, right? We have that looming ahead. I wonder what that could be. Hmm. Well, that is something that we will have to look at next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll catch you later. Bye!